you are welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will be solving a problem in um, geometric construction that says that draw two regular octagon one 76 millimeter across flat and the other 82 millimeter across corner right we have to defend octagon first of all what is an octagon an octagon is a polygon that has eight sides right so the first thing you do just like we did in the previous video when we are constructing hexagon across flat and across corner if you want to get access to that video you can click on this link at the top right corner here of the screen it will take you there now how to construct this octagon now will now be you take your set square you draw an horizontal line this way you can see that and uh, you mark a point let's say this point here so I'll call it point O and we're told that um, it is hexagon across flat right so what you're going to do you take your compass and you measure half of the measurement given the dimension given which is 76 millimeter so when you take your uh, meter rule half of 76 is 38 so I'll measure from 0 to 38 which is somewhere around here you can see that and I'll place it at this point here right in where I will now draw a circle but to be faint because what I'm looking for is the hexagon not the circle so let me make it more visible a little bit so let me make it more visible you see that now the next thing we'll do is we're told it's hexagon in octagon hexagon deals with your 60 degree that is the one we did previously hexagon deals with this right why octagon deals with the 45 degree so i'm going to use that to draw this the same way i did the other one across flat i'll place my c square or my t square and i'll move it when you get to this point that it is tangential to the side of what of the circle this way i will now draw a line this way faint line and i'll go to the other point also I'll do the same thing at the top here. It lines tangential to it this way. You can see that. Now, if I've done that, I will now use the 90 degree side now. And I'll draw a line down this way. Tangential to the circle. This way. And I'll move it. Let me make it longer. Then I'll move this this way also, do the same thing too. You can see that. Now when I've done that, since it's facing left, I'll now make it face right. So I'll move it to touch with attention to the side of the circle. You can see that. And I'll do this. To touch that line, I'll move it to the other side too. And I'll do the same thing too. You can see that now since i've used all this side i will now come to my t square to draw the horizontal line since i know that i'm moving from here to here then i'm going to thicken it but it must be tangential to the sides of the what of the circle right and i'll come here also it must be tangential to the sides of the circle and i'm going from here to here you can see and i'll do the rest i'm going to close up the rest point here so from this point to this point right let's see from here to here i'll take it from here also to here i'll take it from here to, to here I'll take it from here to, to here I'll 
or taking it from here to to here or taking it from here to here or taking it so this is what we have here an octagon so if i want to label it i can say this is uh this point a point b point c point d e f g and h you count it a b is one b c two c d three d e four e f five f g six g h seven and h a eight so there are eight sides of the octagon right and why we call it across flat is because each side of the octagon is tangential what i mean by tangential is touching the circumference of the circle so this is what we call tangential here now the next one we are told here says we should draw the other one which is 82 millimeter across corner so the same thing i'll do i'll pick a point let's say this is my point here i'm picking right I'll call it still point O and I'll measure half of 82, which is what? 41. So I'm going to measure 41 this way. 41. Right? And I'll place it at point O. Then I'm going to draw a circle. So that is 41. Now what I'm going to do now is this where it touches the circumference here i'm going to call it a and i'll call it what b i'll place this down and use my t square and ensure that it's standing my t square is standing on my t square this way then i'll just draw a faint line down just faint line passing through center o so that point, let's say this A, B, here should be C, and here should be what? D, right? Now what I'm dealing with, whenever I'm dealing with octagon, is 45 degree. Now I'm going to place it this way, you can see? If I place it this way, on my T square, passing through point A, point O, and tangential to my T square this way, you can see? Passing through point O, I'll draw a line this way. So that point, if this is A, B, D, C, D, here will be what? E and what? And F. Then since it's facing right, I'll now make it face left this way. And I'll do the same thing passing through point O. And I'll draw this. So that so we have E, F. This is E, F. And here will be what? G, H. So I'm going to join those points together. So I'm going to join C... C E B E B G G D E D A E A H H C So this is what we have here. So we've drawn, this is across corner, each corner, E is a corner, C is a corner, H is a corner. So each of all those corners are touching the circumference of the circle. So this is what we call octagon across corner. Octagon is a polygon that has eight sides. And each corner of those polygon are touching the circumference of the circle. So this is all the difference. In across flat, the sides are touching circumference in a cross corner. 
the corners are touching the circumference. So if you found the video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.